Didn't you meet someone at the mill? No, no. I didn't see anyone. Oh. Why do you stay here? Well, I, I don't have anybody else, you see. Only Uncle Richard and Aunt Myra. Ever been abroad? Abroad? <laughs> yes, you should travel. But be interested in what happens to you for its own sake and don't expect to be touched or changed. <laughs> At least, that's the advice of someone who is immensely old. One just watches. What's it like being engaged? I suggested to Leslie that we write to Eaton and put down the names of the two boys that we should hope to have. And he was terribly shocked. Oh, my dear, you mustn't. You mustn't let things go. They're so terribly difficult to get back once they've gone. Now, this young corporal of yours, um, what's his name? I've forgotten, I mean, his, fir his first name. Gerald. He's a, he's a captain, actually. He seems very dashing and very eager. He kissed me. Did he? When? Just now. Just, just when, when you were... Oh, you poor dears. <laughs> <laughs> there you are trying to have a romance. We come along clumpy all over it. I thought that you were a little bit dérangé. He says he, uh, he cares for me. Did you have difficulty beginning? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, Gerald, I'm, I'm sure he's terribly brave and, and so on, but... Yes, I mean, they're all like that underneath. They're the weaker sex, really. Not all of them. Well, sure, surely there are other kinds. Well, not in my experience. And I have had a lot of experience. Lady Mara, I've got to go. Oh, dear. Oh, what a pity. There were so many things I wanted to ask you. You know, about the army. Well, well, this little red riding hood. <laughs> They'll put you in jail, you know. Cut off your hair and make you run through the barracks in your knickers. <laughs> Why did you come here? To see you. I remember when we used to play here. You and, and Livy and me. I was the miller and you were my helpers. <sighs> Those summers. So hot. 
You wouldn't have a fag, I suppose. No. D did you kill that sergeant? W what's his name? Wilson. He sure did. And were you in that ambush on the, on the police station? Where do you want to know? Were you? What do you think? I must go. Don't forget those cigarettes. Gold flake. Get Livy to pinch them from the shop. <laughs> well, well, what? Out for a spin, where? Please stay for the dance. What dance? Oh, the officers' wives are organising a dance up at the camp. <laughs> well, how could I resist? <laughs> I'd like you to stay. I'd, I'd like... How's your fiancé? Oh, Mr. Laws. Terribly glad it's all decided at last. What? <laughs> does he write? Yes, he does write. Very business day. The papers are being drawn up, he says. I, mean, I think he's going to float our marriage on the stock exchange. But it's not the worst choice, you know. What? Safety. Hello there. Coldhurst, what an unexpected pleasure. Splendid day, or? Absolutely. Well, I must go. I have to get back into the flowers. Quite abrupt, these country girls. <clears throat> Dashed if I can understand them. <laughs> Perhaps it's because we're Irish. We look like you and we speak like you. Well, almost, but we're not. Well, we're not you, are we? So I don't follow. Well, we're not so much a people as a tribe, really. And, of course, tribal people always prefer their own. Their own? Yes. Even if their own come from a different tribe. We take Lois going about the country like a, a chieftainess or something. Very Irish. Do you see what I mean? Good day to you now, Mrs. See Livy. She's with her mother. Will you call her for me? Miss Loss, I think you'd be better advised. I'm not the army, you know. Some cigarettes, please. Gold flake. Lois. For uh, Miss Norton. They say he's been seen about the fields. Seen? So they say. You're keeping a watch on the shop, of course. Oh, around the clock. Good. I hear the mother is very bad now. Yes. Mm. It'll be a hellish thing. I mean, to trap him that way. Oh, hellish, yes. They won't win, you know, sir. Ah, my dear chap, they will. It's only a matter of time. But we've got to make it as hard for them as possible. That's important for afterwards, you see. Sorry? We've got to spoil it for them. That's the point. You're losing a bit of the jolly old empire. Territory, revenue, subjects. When that's gone, England will still be there. But we are losing a country. A world. 
The difference is that you don't care. Flanders sort of that, but we do.